Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now, if you can recognize this background in the first, let's say, what it, how long we are in this video, like first 10 seconds of this video, then for sure you are the OG subscriber of this channel. I'm sure many of you will be able to understand we are back in England after the longest that I haven't seen my sister. Um, it's been four months, four months, four very long months since I've last been here and it feels so nice to be in my own bed honestly we were just talking about that like maybe 10 minutes ago after everything that had happened it's kind of like soothing to be back in this safe place for me it's so soothing it's so comforting it's so amazing to be in my bed and the best part of all of it is that I'm here with my sister with my boyfriend with her children uh, with my brother-in-law, it feels so soothing and comforting because obviously I've spent a lot of time now with my boyfriend and that's amazing. We are traveling and we're moving from hotel to hotel, we're searching for a home, for a home, we kind of found a home, we're moving to a new home, we are... There's so many questions, so many logistic nightmares, but what's really beautiful is now that I'm back home and I wanted to like, you know, take you a little bit with me, show you what's up here, I also came here because it's actually very useful since I can grab a few things, bits and bobs that I can bring with me. My next, our next trip is Ibiza, but actually before then we have six long days of packing, organizing, arranging, like moving companies. Uh, it's a logistical mess, especially since we spent now five days in Capri and before that we were traveling as well. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with that. I am gonna bring you straight to the other room, the famous wardrobe slash office room for me, where uh, we can even pick some stuff and I can show you bits and pieces now that we're kind of like unpacking the suitcases from Capri. And here is a little memory refresher for many, many, many past years. I am just kind of like all dressed up actually ready I really enjoyed browsing through my wardrobe because it's kind of a unique experience it's difficult to explain obviously it's all of the stuff that I've been collecting saving buying for years and now it's the stuff a lot of the stuff that I haven't actually touched for two years because if you consider that we kind of like closed down in February 2020 some of the summer stuff I haven't seen since the summer 2019 because that was the last time that I wore it and now it's the summer 2021 and I can go through all of those dresses behind me and choose what I want like this is one of the dresses that I got in 2019 and I never actually got a chance to wear it and I really love it if I do find a link for it before because it is from quite a while I will make sure to link it I love it I think it's quite 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 cute this is it I'm gonna go through my wardrobe select some pieces like yesterday uh, as soon as I arrived I was checking it all the stuff that I have here because I have some jewelry the unfortunate part is that of course I brought to Paris with me the best pieces like the best buys like I have had for example four click lock bracelets and one of them was the mint Hermes bracelet and mint was my favorite one red rose gold I brought it with me obviously it's stolen like most of my um, Chanel jewelry most of like jewelry in general but you know now it's been a month and I'm so 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 ready to move on but there is actually something that I wanted to show you and actually it is a set of pieces so in month of July I was working with Jimmy Choo one of my favorite brands when it comes to accessories as you guys know it's a brand when it comes to shoes, I think most of my shoes, like if there's one brand that I have most shoes of, it would be Jimmy Choo. I think I have over 30 pairs of Jimmy Choo shoes because I absolutely love them. I wear them a lot. I'll show you some of my most worn pieces because I just feel like it kind of fits perfectly in this. And then everything will come together because, in fact, I will give you a lot of updates on my future throughout this video. So, yeah. 
So over here you probably remember my shoes as well and I wanted to show you some of my most worn Jimmy shoes. If you ask me of my favorite pair ever, 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 <laughs> ever, I mean look how much I wear them, I'm, I'm actually embarrassed to show you, but they are still intact on top even though I wear them non-stop are these pearl heels. Now these could be like perfect wedding shoes but I wore them during fashion weeks mostly, special events all the time and in fact pearl is one of the core themes of Jimmy Choo when it comes to the brand's DNA. Another very important theme are crystals and now you see like a lot of these these i also worn a lot i even wore these to british fashion awards they have such a special heel they're incredible so crystals are the second very important theme when it comes to jimmy Choo core and the third very important theme are logos so this is their uh, logo jc as you can see and it's a very important theme and now i'm gonna show you something new so those were my old shoes. I mean, some of them are like, I don't know, more than like two, three, four years old. And some of my older, oldest Jimmy shoes are like 10 years old. But the point is that obviously the logo crystals and pearls are something that you can see a lot throughout Jimmy Choo collections when it comes to their sunglasses, handbags, shoes. It's just like an ongoing theme and that's what they're what's in their DNA. So I, in month of July, I worked with Jimmy Choo on um, several posts where I could actually present to you the core collection. And I got some incredible new pieces that I wanted to show you now. As everything happened uh, and you know it, I stayed short of two bags, unfortunately, but I will show you what I have and touch wood, very lucky that I preserved all of my shoes. So thumbs up for that. My favorite, I think, okay, so it's very hard to say what's my favorite, but if you ask me what is my favorite, favorite, favorite theme of uh, the Jimmy Choo Core Collection, it would be pearl theme. Pearls I love, and you could have seen my favorite. I think the pearl heels that I've just shown you are my top three favorite shoes I've ever owned in my life. And in fact, I'm thinking of getting the exact same pair again, because it's for me timeless, it's forever, it's the best pair. But like I said, I really, really love the pearl uh, theme when it comes to Jimmy Choo. And these are the shoes that I love and I think are perfect for spring, summer, forever. They're just very, very beautiful sandals with a short heel, as you can see. I will put them on in a second for you to see what they look like on. And they have the most incredible clutch. This is a sample, but I need this in my life desperately. Look at this, you guys. I need this in my new handbag collection that I'm slowly but surely building. Um, I think it's so perfect. Probably doesn't fit that much, but truth be told, recently I haven't really been carrying much with me. Just the lip gloss and the card, and that's what I think would definitely fit in here. So, like a card holder fits here and the lipstick, and then I mean my phone is anyway always in my hand, even if I have a handbag. I think this is so beautiful. It even has a chain so that you can carry it. This is from their pre-fall collection. It's like a little cloud made of pearls. And I think this is so cute. I'm gonna put on the sandals to show them um, what they look like on because I think they would be so perfect with this look. I mean, just look at these sandals. Aren't they pure perfection? If you ask me, I think they're just perfect, perfect because they're so cute, but the heel is not too high. So they're just um, elegant, but then, you know, they won't hurt your feet, they won't be annoying, and with the little clutch that I've just shown you. This can be something from day to night, but even though this is quite elegant for like a breakfast look, it's even cuter in that case. So you can just do like this, you know, and be very, very cute and chic already for 9 a.m. breakfast appointment. Since I'm already shopping my wardrobe, my own wardrobe for Ibiza, I was trying on this Jacquemus dress from, I believe, two or three summers ago, probably three, and I decided to pair them with the crystal sandals. These are from the crystal uh, collection, as you can see. I think they're so special, and I had a really, really beautiful micro clutch that goes with it. In fact, there were two. There was a green one, and these also come in green and in type of a glittery version. I think they're so gorgeous. I mean, I'm gonna give you a super zoom in. Very sexy. The heel is also not too high, so they're very, very 
flattering on the foot and at the same time very comfortable but I obviously as you can imagine love the sparkly detailing in the front and those are the second and now the only piece of Jimin Choo Core collection left to show is the logo are you ready for this and just something a little bit different is this dress that i just found oh my god and i don't know why i never packed it to paris with me this one is by ronnie Koval, and i love it and i thought it was perfect match with the logo style of shoes and bag from jimmy Choo. now these really really like sort of remind me especially the bag of the 90s and it's not because of the logo but it's the whole style of the bag can you see it Hopefully you can see it when I show it like this. I think it's so beautiful. Obviously there are like uh, micro logos. There's the big one on the closure and the style of the bag, which I think is super chic because you can kind of just pop it on like that. And then the shoes are, for me, these are very, very comfortable. The heel is, I wouldn't call it kitten heel. I think it's more of a middle heel. And they also have, well, they have the patent cap toe, but then, I don't know if you can see, they have the micro logo all over as well. I think they're so beautiful with this heel. This is really something amazing and I'm excited that I can kind of go through my wardrobe one more time. Just took these shoes off so I wanted to show you this little detailing at the back too. So you can see at the back of the shoe there is also a logo. Okay, so I wanted to give you a little quick update because I feel like every day something new happens. Tomorrow is going to be exactly a month since everything happened and it's been such a whirlwind of different things happening that at one point I was like okay someone has to come out now and tell me that this is all a hidden camera because it's impossible that all of this can happen to one person. But anyway this month has been one of the hardest and one of the most beautiful in my life. One of the most beautiful is because I will always like to start with the good stuff one of them was beautiful because it really made me like understand, like I told you guys before, what incredible relationships I have. It strengthened even more the relationship between me, uh, well, between my boyfriend and me, between my sister and me, between my parents and me, but also showed me how incredible my friends are who are here for me every single day and who did even the like little things that they really didn't need to do besides the really big things that I desperately needed the help with they also helped me with the tiny little things as well. The amount of people that messaged me that showed up, uh, including the people that I'm not necessarily really friends with, you know? People that showed empathy, like it was really, really surprising for me. And I was very happy because I learned also a lot about myself. At one point I was discussing this with German, like a photographer who I've known for many years. And he told me, you know, Tamara, like you have a little bit of this like Eastern European thing that you seem sometimes a little bit cold and standoffish, maybe even a little bit arrogant at times because, you know, sometimes I'm a Pisces, first of all, and I'm a super representative. I, at times, can really seem like I'm in my own world, thinking about my problems, about my feelings mainly, <laughs> almost of the time. And um, I can get, I can be awkward at times as well, I guess. I often speak to my friend Caro about this. Sometimes I get an awkward vibe and then I'm awkward and then everything is awkward and then things get even worse, even though they're not awkward or weird. And then I ask other people, was this awkward? And they say like, no, not at all. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. But then at the same time, the real uncomfortable situations, they really don't make me feel uncomfortable. I just read sometimes people in a strange way. Mostly it proves to be right, but I just think I make a big deal out of it. Anyway, the point is that I was speaking to German about this and he said, sometimes I thought, you know, you're kind of like a cold and like you have a lot of stuff and you are like very into luxury and all of this. And now when I saw this other side of you, how grounded, you were when everything happened, how optimistic and positive and how you show your vulnerability. And this is one big, very important thing about me. I do not show vulnerability. And my friend Ksenia told me about this many years ago, even before we were close friends. She told me, you know, Tamara, I wish you would show vulnerability more. But the problem is that I am a very, very sensitive person. I suffer about only about things that have to do with interpersonal relationships. I never suffered any other losses of like finances or material stuff, but only things that really bother me in life are conflicts 
and interpersonal things like when they get perceived wrongly. That's the only thing that can upset me in life. So breakups and people being mean or rude or ungrateful, that's really the only stuff that can bother me. Garen told me like, you know what? I've seen a completely different side to you. I've seen like how I always thought like you're this kind of like cold person and now I've seen how completely opposite that is in this situation. And a lot of people texted me similar thing to say that the vulnerability really showed them a different side of me. I don't know why I have the wall so high up. I don't know why I try to be kind of looking unbothered and looking like I'm not hurt even when I am and like that I don't care when I really do care. And I am quite vulnerable as a person and I am quite bothered about people, not about things. Like I'm, I'm the sort of person that is not bothered about getting paid more. Like when I hear how much people in my um, industry are fighting for more money or more things or more trips, even people I work with, they always tell me, oh, Tamara, you, you're never the one who like asks for more or fights for more. Like, you know, maybe I don't even seem that ambitious, but actually it's because the real thing that I'm so, so bothered about our people and relationships and that's something that was really the most beautiful thing about everything that happened this month is that I fully understood that and I fully showed to people what is it that I really care about. It was hard because now you're ready for this, not because I lost my stuff, which is sad because sometimes I wake up wondering who's wearing my watch on their wrist, you know? It is weird that someone is wearing my watch that I scratched here and there and then it's on someone else's wrist and it's weird to think who is that person that is going through my bag or where is my passport or my house key, who's got it? The house key with the keychain that my sister gifted me for my 31st birthday, where is that keychain? Whatever, the point is that that is not what made the month hard. What made the month hard is that oh, there's a, there were people that were watching me, possibly for a long time in real life. They were there with me in a restaurant, possibly they even spoke to me, they followed me home, they looked at me on the street. That is a hard part. And the fact that someone went through my stuff, through my drawers, they touched my clothes, they touched my hats, they maybe put something in my house in Paris, like who knows, like in the mess that was left, would I notice if there was a microchip or a micro camera placed on some of my stuff? I don't know, I am a little bit paranoid, so it leaves a lot of questions. And what made it quite difficult as well is that I didn't want to return back to that apartment. People ask me like, oh, some people ask me, but you just got robbed, just go and live there, like it's a, the flat is still there. And I love that flat, which makes it quite sad. But if you've been robbed and someone who wanted to take your stuff knows exactly where you live and how to get to you, maybe first time they rob you, second time, who knows like what they do to you. And I don't feel safe sleeping somewhere where someone can like break into my flat and they know where I live. I, I don't feel safe. No matter what you put, what cameras, what alarms, because they go through that, because the cameras were disconnected, because it's so difficult to explain the situation, because it was almost like, how do you disconnect the camera outside how do you make sure that you get in? How? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Anyway, when I can, I will talk more about this situation, but that's not right now. That was the, you know, like the fact that I have to leave the apartment in the middle of the thing. And I was going to prolong the lease. I don't know if you remember, guys, I was giving the life update and I was saying, I'm definitely prolonging um, my lease in this apartment. I'm definitely staying here because I already discussed this and um, I confirmed that I will be staying in the same apartment another year. However, I was supposed to prolong it from August to August, end of August to end of August, because if you guys remember well, I moved into that apartment end of August. So we need to leave it end of August, which is basically very soon. Our apartment, like our new apartment in Milan, is not going to be ready before end of September. I'm going on holidays, large chunk of August, everything's been, been booked, planned, arranged, also with our friends who I don't want to bail on. Then I have very important shoots and jobs at the beginning, like, I mean, also a large part of month. I have very, very, very important photo shoot. I have very important job end of August. Like, there's so much going on that basically I don't have time to move houses from Paris to maybe Paris or Milan. But in Milan, we don't have an apartment. In Paris, we don't have an apartment. I have a place in London. I have a place in Belgrade. So both of those cities, London and Belgrade, are outside of European Union, which means that moving from European Union into any of those places would be a nightmare because I cannot just ship stuff easily. There are so many paperwork to fill out and so many things 
to take care of. And then I would have to import it back again. Again, difficulties with customs, with situations, with border. And on top of that, it would be difficult because where am I going to bring that stuff? So we were staying in a hotel, as you guys know, in Milan in July to find out that that hotel will be closed in August, as it sometimes happens in Milan. And then we had to actually move to another hotel and then we have no idea where we're gonna move next. It's a situation that is quite tough. Besides the fact that, I mean, what are my options? You know, it got to a point. Because everything happened in the month that was like, okay, I don't wanna stay anymore in this flat. I need to find a new flat, but I need to find a new flat very soon so that I can move very soon. But I'm not a person that likes to search for a flat like, oh, urgently, I need a new thing. Even though I'm in a position where I could buy a flat, it's something that I'm not interested in at the moment because A, I don't want to tie myself to a country, to a city. B, I'm so happy, like at some point near soon, I would like to experience living in LA. I would like to live in another country. Like, you know, I really want to experience the world. I really want to enjoy the life to the fullest. It's also something I was discussing to Ksenia. She was also telling me like, you know, because I was thinking at one point maybe to buy a flat in Paris and she was saying, oh my God, I would never buy a flat in Paris. Like why, you know? But then I was thinking, oh, she's right. You know, you can always like come to Paris and stay there, but it's not really where my where I'm gonna raise my children. It's very, very difficult time. So right now that is the situation where September is going to be fashion month. I'm gonna be so busy. And am I gonna be in the boxes? I don't know. That's the hard part. The hard part is not having stability and I'm someone who really needs stability. But the most important thing is that I have an incredible support system. Um, my boyfriend who's doing so much, like he's giving me so much support, he's helping so much in this situation, my sister, my family, my friends, everybody. And that is something that made this situation a lot easier. That's a little update because you guys are asking me like, what are you doing girl? Why don't you just buy an apartment? I mean, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm just not a person that wants to settle in one place and build a fence and paint walls and do this kind of stuff. I've never been this type of girl that wants to do that. I want to, I don't know, like, change countries, live around the world, live in New York, live in LA, like, I want to do different things. I want to, I want to be free. And yesterday my sister told me, like, oh my god, you know what, you're so lucky that you're not tied to one place, you don't have children, enjoy the world, enjoy the moment, and that is the current plan. Here is an update. I even thought, should I maybe go back to London, like should I maybe go back to England and go back to my original plan of living in London. At the end of the day, I also understood how important for my career this year in Paris was. It was really, really incredible. It elevated everything that I do by like 500%. I started working with new brands that last year this time I couldn't even dream about, such as, I don't know, like Hermes, Prada, Valentino, Miu Miu. I don't know, I'm working more than ever with the Louis Vuitton, with Dior, as you guys know. I'm working with like so many beautiful brands that I, I, I just think like, you know, I, I'm working also with Fendi more than ever. There are like so many beautiful brands with Acne, Lamont, like a lot of them are in Paris. Everything was just so convenient, so easy, and that is something that I feel like I owe to Paris. It's a lot to understand and a lot to take in, but yeah, until then I'm just here. I'm in England and what I'm going to do is actually try to pick some of my current wardrobe for the trip in Ibiza, but tomorrow I'm flying to Belgrade. I'm flying to Belgrade for around less than 48 hours, and the reason why I'm going to be there is because I have a quite important photo shoot and I'm very much looking forward to that. That's a little update, a little update on my life and on my current situation. I hope this will answer to a lot of your questions. If I'm leaving something out or if I'm forgetting something, then let me know. But uh, let's now go and see what I chose to bring, which ready-to-wear pieces I'm gonna bring to Ibiza with me. Oh, 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 but before we proceed, I wanted to show you something else. I received so many beauty products here at home while I was away and something that completely stole my eye, stole my eye, stole my heart is this NARS uh, Orgasm on the Beach palette. It's like a cheek face palette 
and this is what it looks like and you see it very well I think this could be like a bronzer highlighters and blush but this blush is so intense it's what I'm wearing right now wait I just want to show you how intense it is with my finger is this showing on the camera it's really really pinky it's so beautiful I really love it and the highlighter I mean the highlighter is also really insane I love it really 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 love this palette so I will link it below for you guys to check out because I think it's insane. Another thing that I've got on my eyes at the moment is kind of a mono shadow basically, but it's this Tom Ford cream and powder eye color in golden peach. It's basically a creamy, creamy shadow at the bottom and then at the top there's a little mirror if I remember well. Yeah, I just used the first time ever today and the sparkly, sparkly eyeshadow. This will be my go-to Ibiza makeup basically love it we'll link it also below i also got my standard this is a standard i just opened a new one nars uh, radium radiant creamy concealer in custard then also a standard it was many times featured in my favorites emotion proof liner by tom ford in chocolate number two and something that i haven't tried actually yet but let's do it now on camera <laughs> is this new blush Ooh, is this my color not sure i'm gonna have to understand because I can't really see very well on the viewfinder in Sacred Vanish, I don't know, it's by Hourglass and it's a creamy blush and it comes in so, oh wow, I love it! And I'm not usually a fan of creamy blush but Hourglass for me is a brand that I am obsessed with it's so good, it's just insane and this is also amazing this, like I said, is in color Sacred beautiful packaging also for a blush did i leave something out no i took a few other pieces from my like bags such as i'm just looking at the table nars uh, bronzer in casino and the foundation in barcelona there's so many things here that i have that i like want to bring it all but considering that i don't even have where to bring like where are you going with this tomorrow however i think at some point i love how the like i just washed my hair yesterday and i love how my highlights are turning out. I wonder what they're gonna be like at the end of summer. But I was gonna say, I think at the, some point at the end of the summer, if we can afford it in terms of having time, I would love to come back here and spend more time with my sister and her family, which is my family, of course, because for me, I was just telling my boyfriend today and he agreed completely with me. This is such a relaxing place. This is a place where I'm so happy, where I feel so taken care of, where I feel so, I don't know, safe and cozy. And I mean, I spent the last, what, six years of my life here and I'm so happy here. It's the only place where I can truly relax and he said he feels the same and he wants us to come on a holiday here for a week. So that would be really amazing. And I'm so happy that my family and my boyfriend are getting on so well because that's something very, very important to me. So yeah, that was a little update and I will continue with this video 